Jack Morris here and welcome to Balan Wonderworld. So this is a platformer created by the same people who made Knights and Sonic. Um, it's made by the same people who made Knights into Dreams. If you guys remember, I played that game a long ass time ago. Um, and basically it's made by the same developers who made that. They got back together, they decided to make a new game. They partnered with Square Out Enix to, to produce it. Um, so, Ballad Wonder World is a bit of a unique platformer in that it's a lot of the gameplay is based around collecting costumes and transforming, um, which is actually a pretty interesting concept. Um, and you're actually encouraged to go back to old previous levels that you've done and go ex and go explore them again with new costumes that you've collected, so that you can actually go back, get get every, all the collectibles, and and 100% the game that way. Which I think is a really interesting idea for a platformer, and. Uh, my main complaint with it is that it released at the same time as Monster Hunter Rise, and I could only play the one, so I did a coin flip, and uh, Battle of Wonder World won. So, we're, go we're going with the thing I know I'm probably going to like, rather than the thing that's new to me and I've never actually seen anybody play. So, although that being said, Monster Hunter Rise is apparently more popular, and uh, but, and, it, and it seems like it might be kind of a death sentence to, re to release the, on your new platformer at the same time as a, uh, a previously established IP that people actually kind of like a whole bunch. So, uh, yeah, probably not the smartest move there, but uh, whatever. But in any case, we're going to be starting with Battle of Wonderworld. So, let's get into it. New game. Yeah, and we have a character select. Um, yeah, we can play as Emma or Leo. Um, I'm going to play as Emma because I played as Leo for the demo. So I'll play as Emma here because I don't, I haven't actually played as her. So we're going to do that. Also, they speak a gym. I don't, I don't know if it's like a separate language, but. Oh, she's got a completely different story. Yeah, I've seen, um, Leo's story. Okay, so you can play it. So, yeah, you can play as both. You can actually learn both of their stories. And here it comes. Alan Company. Yeah, they started their own co their own company for this. There's Leo. Yeah, the cut the opening cutscene I should mention is different depending on if you're playing playing as Leo or Emma. Leo has his own backstory that I don't know. I may go. I may re do, may do a separate playthrough of the game. Just to, just to show you guys what the what his cutscene looks like, and that'll be it. There's the boy. There's Balan. Yeah, Balan's awesome.
Yeah, Balan's awesome. He's awesome. He's really cool as a character. He's just he's such a so flamboyant and energetic. It's great. I love him. I love him to death. But in any case, we're on the Isle of Tims now. New costume is available to try on in the dressing room. Oh, because I did the demo, right? Um, Alright, so here's the game. So this is the Isle of Tims. Um, it's a little bit empty now. It's a little bit empty now. There's not much going on. But as you play through the game, you can actually explore and collect new things. You can actually... Actually, I should show this off. Um, uh, okay, it doesn't seem like I can do anything until after the... Uh, well, in any, well, that's fine then. Um, but in any case, you can actually upgrade. There's actually this little this little thing here. It won't be upgradable until you actually go through the first level, I don't think. But uh, you can actually build build a large Rube Goldberg contraption in there. I'll get to that in a minute. But but yeah, this is the first. There there are twelve stages in this in, in this game. You have to explore. You have to explore them all. But but it is very. Uh, Alright, so, yeah, the, also I should mention this game doesn't really have any spoken dialogue beyond that first cutscene. A lot of it is up for interpretation, and then they're also releasing a book that releases some of the story, which is, is kind of iffy, but but I, I do like the, the idea of the game. It's fun. It, it is a very interesting concept, and that's why I'm deciding to show it off. Yeah, this entire first area is also playable in the... In any case, Chapter 1, Act 1, the manager rages against the storm. Yeah, you need to collect... Yeah, in any case, the Tims will follow you around and help you with stuff. So, these are your main collectible in the game. You pick these up, and I'll show you what they do in a minute once the episode wraps. But, uh... In any case, you'll notice that there's a... Couple of things about this about this area that seem a little bit off and a little bit strange. Um, namely, there's a giant farmer sitting right there. Um, okay, so this is the main mechanic of the game. Um, I'm just gonna go out of my way to collect everything because, well, I can. Um, so you so your main idea is that you're supposed to collect collectibles and then do this. Now, you, now I'm Tornado Wolf. So, so yeah, each costume has its own abilities that you can use to traverse landscapes and stuff like that, which is very helpful. Very fun. Um, also, this big thing over here. I don't know how to get over there. I haven't quite... I, ha I played through the... De this The first level is fully available in the demo, by the way, but I have no idea how to actually get over there. Um, this is new. I'm assuming I have to play music or something on this. Hmm. This will probably awake, open up later. Once I figure, actually figured out how to do it. But yeah, every every chapter has a story. It's very interesting. But yeah, I can hold up to three costumes at once, so... Yeah, you can only carry, you can only carry up to three. After beyond that, you have to kind of work a little bit for it. And also, this is what I mean. There are certain obstacles in the, in the game that you can't actually move on to collect. Um, oh, you! I just found an egg. Yeah, they're collectible. Yeah, eggs are collectible as well. If you want, you can collect duplicates of the different costumes that you can get. But I. Don't really think you need. I need to worry about doing that. But in case we might as well move on now. Yeah, and that opens the door. Yeah, a lot of people were hounding to that this game needs to be delayed since it does feel very, well, not necessarily empty, but it does feel. But it only really includes the first couple of levels, and they feel pretty linear-ish. But in any case, we got a balance statue. You need to collect eight of these to actually progress the game. Um, I didn't have much trouble getting all of, the, all of these. To, to, the more statues you gather, the more worlds you can visit. I promise to reappear when I see fit. Yeah, you can't really... You don't really have to worry about... Yeah. 
some some of these, some of these mop textures don't look great, but it's fine. Um, yeah, I know I know how to collect a lot of them, so it should be fine. But I do I do like the game. Yeah, it's something that it's just a game that I feel like people are kind of hating on it because it was a it's a new thing and it's obvious that the game may or may not have been a little bit rushed even though it the developers have gone on record to say it isn't but it, it's a very different style of game is what I is what I will get oh I can't get over here yet um, I'm going to need a new costume to be able to do that and I know how to get the new co where the new costume is and how to get it but we're not gonna be able to do that right at the moment. Because there's this guy. Yeah, this is Lance. He's the main antagonist of the game. He creates enemies for you. But in case, yeah, we cleared him out. That's fine now. Everything is happy and healthy in the world of Battle and Wonder World. Also, speaking of speaking of of coming back and after getting costumes, you can't actually do anything with this yet. Um, there's nothing you can't really do anything. It's just kind of need to work on it. You need to collect things. Um, but we have a new costume here, so let's pick it up. Yes, the jumping jack. Oh, and her costume version of the costume has a. Okay, she has a little she has a little Joey in her pouch. Alright, I didn't know that. Okay. get this one? I forget how to get this one. But yeah, I'm just kind of exploring a little bit because I can. Ah, where am I? Where's my camera? And uh, now I can... Switch to this guy. Uh, that that eliminates my ability to actually. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, but oh well, too late now. Oh yeah, that's right. There's a portrait I need to go find, right? Oh, is this... okay. Is that? Oh, I I don't remember. There's probably a, a costume or something that I don't remember. I, I really don't know. I only ever I only really fully play through the first area of the game because that's all they really have to offer for the demo. I'll probably do like a chapter and episode. Like being perfectly honest, I'll probably do that. But in any case, balance statue. You need eight. You need eight to complete the game, and I don't know how to get them all in this first area yet. You need you need a set amount to actually move on. I for I believe the eight it's eight for the first one, and then I forget for everything else. But you do need to go out of your way to collect all, a whole bunch of them if you want to move forward. You probably won't have much tr Oh, there's the one. I forgot this one was over here. Yeah, you need to collect a whole bunch of them. There are seven per chapter, so you're probably going to be fine, provided you know where they are. Uh, oh, I can... S ah! Hidden thing. There's another one over here. I know I'm dawdling and exploring a bit, but that's what the game is. If you're not exploring, you're you're not doing something right. Uh, okay, that's most of this. Wait, I remember where the one is. I can't. I won't be able to get that one for a while. I know exactly. Yeah, it's up there. I can't get to that one yet. I know, but I know how to get to it. 
Um, in any case, let us uh, move on. Yeah. Also, you may have been noticing this hat that's been over to the corner. I will get... To okay, this is the end of the level, by the way. We're at the end. The levels themselves aren't very long, but they encourage you to explore it a lot and find everything. Um, but in any case, there's also this. You did well to find me, little one. Now I shall let you have a bit of fun. Harness my powers well enough and I will give you some great stuff. Here we go. Balance bout. Tap B when balance shadow lines up with balance. Yeah, so we have uh, quick time events. They're only for the balance sections of the game, but they're fun. But they're fun. Yeah. Just remember, just do what the game, just do what the game says, and you'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, the textures do look a little bit funny, I'll be perfectly honest. They don't look great. But the rest of the game is, is spot on. It's, it's just the textures. They can, and they can fix that. That's easy to fix. Unless, of course, they have no desire to fix them, but... That just sounds like a bad idea. Why won't you fix the why won't you fix the textures of your game? Yeah, depend so depending on how well you do at the at the mini games, he'll give you rewards. You can come back and replay those those at any time. But in any case, uh, there's nothing else over here. There's nothing else in here except the end of the game. I think. There's nothing hiding over it. Uh, no. But in case, here's what the Thames do. Yep. We got a piece of heart. Alright. Alright, that's four. And now we get to move on to the chapter two. Um, and that should unlock a thing, right? I don't remember when it unlocks. Actually, is it, is it unlocked? Subjective unlock the base of the tower attempts. I can probably do that now. Oh, I can do it now. Alright, so, also egg. Yeah, eggs hatch new Tims. It's that's what they do. Alright. Go read some drops of Tims of Yeah, this is yeah, this is what you do. You collect the you collect the little droplets, and then you can feed your, your Tims with it. Although they can disappear if the if the Tims don't get to them fast enough. Okay, that one's just bouncing around because it doesn't couldn't find a solid place of ground to land on. Yeah, the Tims love these things. Yeah, if the Tims don't get to them fast enough, they go back into your inventory. So so it's just a matter of throwing them out again and, and making sure the Tims eat them. Yeah, different color different colors are for different types of Tims. Yeah, there's also a rainbow one, but uh, we're not going to be able to show that off just yet. And at least until we go back to go collect all the, st all the statues, we won't be able to show that off. Um. Come eat. Come eat, little guys. Yeah, this it's so goddamn cute. Look at this. Alright, and there's only one color left, but I don't know what to do with this. I haven't figured out how to do this yet. 
It's a button. You're supposed to press it at some somehow, but... Also, you can pick them up and carry them around. This is great. I believe you can... Uh, I don't know what it does. I haven't figured it out yet. Unlock the base of the tower of Tim. Oh, the blade wasn't enough to open it. Okay. So yeah, that's what they do. The Tims will play with that while you're while you're running around in the overworld doing things. Um, and then and as they and as they play through it, they will unlock new upgrades for it. Um, I believe the only the first section of the Tower of Tims is available. Can't jump on top of this. I'm trying to. Yeah, they're very cute. Look at it. It's so cute and precious. I believe it's a tin. It says it's a tin trampoline, so I'm assuming you just throw the tin onto it. No, he he fell off. Um, I'm I'm just screwing around the overworld with the Tims because look at the Tims, they're so goddamn cute, and I want a plush of these. I want a plush of these to sit on my desk. Assuming once you have a whole bunch of them. I don't really know if this is gonna work, but well, it won't if they walk off. But all right, fine. It doesn't seem like that's gonna work. That doesn't seem like that's gonna do her. Uh, all right. Well, in any case, we got one last spot of of grass we need to go feed, so let's go do that. Hi. Come here, Tims! Come here, little guys! Hi. Yeah, they'll, they'll just casually kind of just screw around with this while you're, while you're talking and doing other things. So I might as well show off what some of the upgrades do. Because as you take up this meter, as you take up this meter and the Thames just kind of play, the, it'll unlock a new, new towers that they can play on. And, it, and it's really cute. The Thames are the best thing in this game, I'll be perfectly honest. But I still don't know how to... No, I don't think I can be going to be able to do that. But once they play with it enough, once it goes around enough, there we go. Yeah, the Tower of Tims is a, opens up a, kind of like a Rube Goldberg machine type thing. And also other... And other, also other things. That's a Tim trampoline, so... I'm assuming you need the Tims to open it. Alright, that's enough screwing around in the overworld. Let's go actually play more of the level. Oh, the game... The levels... Alright, I spent a lot more time than I thought in here. Uh... Alright, in any case, level 2. Here we go. Yeah, I want to, I I don't know how long I'm going to make each episode. It's I, I do want to complete both sections of it though. Because I do want to show off every I do want to show off the entire level in a single episode because that way I can dedicate each episode each level to an episode. And and that's something I want to do, want to just kind of do. The man rages against the storm. Oh yeah, this episode, this level. All right. Well, we're in the we're in the world now. Um, I don't know this level as well as I should. Um, um, this opens up if you hit it from below. Yep, that's how it works. Just keep your eyes peeled. So yeah, the, my my main thing for you is just keep your eyes peeled for ever for ever, for any possible collectibles that you may see. Also, this is a new ability as well. Elastoplan! Yeah, the costumes are all fun and cute and cool. Because they all have different abilities that enable them to do different things. 
For example, the Elastic Plan enables you to gather things that are up high, but you also lose the ability to jump while you're equipped with it. So everything has a trade has a trade off to it. Hello. Also, don't walk in that. That'll kill you. Um, I believe this is a mini game. I believe this is a temporary costume. You can't actually keep this one. Footballer. Um. All right. For set your sights on target and press B to put your th th foot through the ball. All right. Yeah, try not to... Try try to avoid the bellin. Oh. Nice shot. Okay. Okay. Hey, I knocked it down. Alright, you only got three shots, so do as much as you can. Alright, I, I got rid of the bell end, which is unfortunate, but... Yeah, I didn't get, a, get all the things. I don't know how to do well at that minigame, so... Still score 16, so I got 16 tem drops from that. Or whatever the hell they're called. Should be told, I don't really know. I never bothered, I never paid, paid enough attention to it. <laughs> that's not a fall in the game, that's just, that's just me being dumb and not really paying attention. But in any case, we can... Ah, oh, there's a there's a Bellin statue. Just casually out in the open for fun. All right, that's five. See see what see what I mean about how it's easy to collect, actually unlock new levels. The only, yeah the Bellin statues are the only really measurable sign of completion I think, as far as I know. There's other things that you can unlock in the Isle of Thames, but that's really it. Um, also, th that's a fun costume to play with, but I'm gonna explore a little bit more before I do anything remotely close to that. There's a red one over here. Yeah, you can hop up small surfaces, but that's about it. That's about all the jumping you can do with this. But, if you should, you collect this little guy over here. You get an attack or oriented ability. The Dainty Dragon. Yeah, he, he can't jump, but he can fire a huge blast of energy at things. It's really cool. He's probably one of my favorite power-ups in the early game. I haven't played the rest of it yet, but... Well, actually, I will be playing the rest of it. I'll be playing all 12, 12 episodes of this, but... But, yeah, some people don't like this game because, uh, well, it just kind of... Because some people... Well, truth be told, I don't really know why some people don't like it. Apparently, people just think it's bland as a platformer. Is and and I and I can kind of understand why that would be the case because well it does kind of uh well doesn't this do a thing yeah there they all are yeah if you collect if you collect a checkpoint they give you a thing um but where is my I actually do need this to jump. Do need those to get up here. So. Yeah, there's cool. yeah see what I mean about you needing different power-ups to collect different things? It's actually quite helpful. Um, is there a balance? I don't think there's a balance statue over here. If there is, I haven't seen one, but... If I think it's just Tim Tim's collectibles. I think it's just the crystals. No, there's an egg over here. So there is something helpful. Alright. I don't believe there's anything else over here, though. I believe it's just an egg. Yeah, there's just a wall over here. So not exactly helpful. Alright. Let's move on. There's 
more, there's more of these over here. I really don't know where some of the collectibles for this are. But there is, there's Balan's hat. So he's, pro so we're going to be, so that's where his um, quick time event is. Oh wait, I remember this area. Fortunately, this guy is pretty helpful at taking these guys out. Okay, I'm going to use this guy to get over because, truth be told, I don't want to fall in. Wait, doesn't... Can, can this guy help me get over? No. Alright, I think I need a new ability to be able to do anything remotely like that. Uh, there's a balance statue over there, but uh, I can't get I can't get to that. I need it again. That's another ability that I get later. I'm not gonna be able to do anything with that. Uh, well, I actually need a new ability to get down there, and I believe the game is gonna about to give me one, so I don't think I need to worry. Okay, so we need the dragon to get over this one. Swap. Do, 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 do. Oh wait, this is how I get over. I mean, that's not the best way to do it. It's actually very dangerous and don't do that, but... But now I can get in and out. So now I can actually do that. That's the other way you can do it. I wouldn't recommend doing it that way, but you can. Yeah, every level has one of these. Yeah, the music is probably the best thing about this game. I love the music. Every game, every music, if, if the game has a good soundtrack, you're doing something right. I believe I've gotten all excellence. Pretty sure I did. So yeah, you get very so you Perfect, I got a gold hat. Alright. I wanna Oh, that's how I get the balance statue the final balance statues. I have to get excellence in the Okay, that makes a bit of sense. Actually it makes a bit of sense. He can reward you with a balance statue if you do perfect. Alright. That's helpful. I think so. oh. Yeah, these guys come back. I forgot the I forgot these guys specifically respawn. I don't believe I don't think other enemies do that, as far as I know. But in any case, we got a new ability over here that we can use, and it's a really fun one. The pounding pig! Yeah, it's a very cute ability. That's one of my favorites. It, it, basically, the game gives you ground pound. It's great. Um, you can't, you can... I believe certain... I believe you need this to open up certain pathways. Oh yeah, this one. I believe this one just goes automatically, but... Just be sure to get out of the way. Yeah, 
There we go. Evans the door. Yeah, this is a much bigger area, so. Um. I guess I know what I'm doing, so it's not a big deal. There's my balance statue. There's another balance statue. I can go get that. I know how to get that. It's actually pretty easy to get that one. Wow. Hop! Hop on pop! And now we can get a balance statue! We need to switch to a different costume to get it, but... Seven! Also... Yeah, you don't really have to worry about falling down a pit for this one. <laughs> it's misleading! It, it makes it look like you're going to go and fall down a pit if you're not very, very careful, but then it does this. And then it's no part, and then it's no big deal. Uh. Oh. I don't think I can get to this without, with my current set of powers. Uh, maybe. Uh, yes I can. Oh uh, no, I definitely can't. Because I need to be able to get over here, right? I don't have any way to get over there. I don't think I'm going to be able to get over there. But I know... Okay, there's a balance statue over there. So I definitely want that, but I don't know how to get to it. Not, wait, this is a, this key gives me something, doesn't it? Oh, it gives me the... Okay, maybe now I can get over there. No, wait, no. Because it limits how far I can jump, right? I don't think... I may have to lose a... Okay, so I guess I can showcase what happens when you lose a costume. Oh, yeah. So what, ha so what happens when you die is that uh, you don't actually... You actually go back to the same... But you lose a co any costumes that you were wearing when you died. Um, if you were currently... Whatever costume you were currently wearing, that's uh, how you die and lose a costume. Is basically you have three lives, and if you lose all three of your co three of your costumes, you can't do anything with them. Yeah, you, it's very, very be careful. It's very it can be very dangerous. But in any case, that's all. That's just what I wanted to show off. I can get the world the wolf costume back again. It's not a big deal. Yeah, the, it, it literally just spawns right here, so you don't have to worry. Dee -dee -dee. Dee -dee -dee. Yep, here he comes. And boss time. Well, ish. Mini boss. Yeah, they lose a, if they lose a mask, that's how they get, take damage. But just need to be careful. They summon Tornado. This one summons Tornado specifically. So the Thames are trying to help, but they're not really being helpful. And now it's dead. Now we can move on. And that is the final area. That's the end. That's the end of Act One. I believe I'm. I've missed a lot of balance statues, but fortunately, I know how I can get two more. I'll show you guys in a minute, but... Here we go! Thames, do your thing! Also, I'm very aware that I'm calling them Thames and not Thames. But, here it is! Final piece! The Wonder World is fixing itself. Alright. Here we go.
Here it comes! Here's the actual story behind this. He lost his entire farm to a storm. That's why it's called the man who raged against the storm. See what I mean? The story the story is very artsy fartsy. It doesn't really need an explanation, but you can understand what happens. And there he is. And now, for the boss fight. Yep. There it is. It's a combination of all the attack-based abilities that you've seen. He is very it's a very interesting fight. He has the ground pound abilities of the pig, the um the attack-based ability the fire breathing abilities of the dragon, and the whirlwind based abilities of the wolf. But he's also a very easy boss to beat, mainly because he's the first boss of the entire goddamn game. Uh Now he's gonna dizzy himself out. And he's done! I fought this boss so many times in the demo, I know how to beat him up with like the back of my hand now, so. In any case, he's done. He's he's done dead and dusted. And we saved him. boss theme in the entire game. And he's back. And there's one long piece of corn, long stock of corn that's arrived. It's not much, but he can recultivate his entire crop from that. And now! Yep, full steam ahead. You get, yeah, you get... I, there's three... Yeah, there's, so there's three balance statues you can get for fighting the game, I believe, in order to... I'm not entirely 100% on this, but I believe in order to get them all, you have to use the exact same fighting styles as, the, as what the boss uses. Um... I'm not entirely 100% on that. I think it's in the order that they use it, but I don't know. I really don't. I really don't know because I've never unlocked the second one. But in any case, we can move on. Full steam ahead.
Let's do it. Train. Oh, okay. Alright, that's where level two is. Level two wasn't part of the demo, so I didn't know it was it was unlocked after we got the train. Yeah, they set it up so that four and six are so that four and six are unlocked instead, so I actually don't know what two and three are. But we've done it. We have unlocked new stages. Where are they? There's three? Two is there's two. Okay. They don't necessarily get unlocked in order. How much? Oh, the you, you guys require 420. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that right now. Alright, let's open up the eggs that they've unlocked and hatched. Gems! Yeah, yeah I could spend the entire day on this. <laughs> I could. I, I'm not going to, but I could. Alright, but in any case, that's the first episode of um, Battle in Wonderland, Wonderworld Done and Dusted. Um... So now we can move on to other stages of the game. Um, I'm actually going to feed my Tims before I end it off. Um, but now that we've unlocked the thing... Come here, Tims. Come eat this. But yeah, now that, we, but yeah, now that we've collected eight felons... How many do I need for the next one? Twenty-five. Well, that's, well, that's why they give us two. So, yeah, you need to go through and... So yeah, you need to go through and collect and collect a bunch enough enough of these to unlock the next stage. Um, that actually might take a while because I believe you need certain power ups to be able to unlock certain ones, and I don't know when certain power ups are available. I know one is available in four and six, and then you can use that one to unlock something in one. But six isn't currently available to us right now. I'll, I'll be perfectly honest; we can't really use that one as an example because uh, well, we don't have it. Oh! Press B to pick up a Tim and press B again to throw it at a bigger Tim. What? Oh, is it big now? Are they grown up now? I didn't know that was a thing that they could do. What? Oh. Can I pick you up? Oh, that's what they're doing. They're laying eggs. Okay. Well, I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know they got big when you ate when they fed them enough. That's interesting. I didn't know that was a thing because I've, I've only ever really played the demo. And the demo doesn't really, doesn't really have all of those things in it. Also, there's this thing. This is what the rainbows are for. You, you won't be, we won't be able to see the rainbows for a while. Um, they're, 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 the way you collect those are special. Okay. Okay, once they eat enough, though, they get big. I can know that. There you are. Can I pick you up? Oh, you need another Tim to... Where are the, where are the other Tims? Presumably, now that you're big, you can set off that trampoline, right? Yes! Oh, it literally is just a trampoline. They only play with it while they're big. Interesting.
Alright, I didn't know that was a thing. Okay, right, so let's go find a Tim and throw it at this guy. Come here, little bud. Come here, little bud. Come here. We're gonna we're gonna make more. Now they're giving birth. Tims are weird, man. <laughs> Alright, in any case, let's feed. Come here! Come eat! Come eat, girl! Go! Come get big and strong! Alright, this is... Yeah, this is what the game is. I think, I think it's just that some people were expecting it to be something completely different. They were expecting it to be, like, this big, awesome thing. And then it, that didn't wind up happening. Uh, it, it, it's literally just... You go through, you collect costumes, that's it. That's what the game is. I think some people just had a different, different idea of what the game was going to be. And that's not a problem. That's not a problem. It's expectation versus reality and all that, but I do like the game, and I feel like and I feel like it would be an injustice to not to play it. Um And then also and then yeah. So yeah, we're gonna be going into two next time. But whatever two entails, although it looks like a water based thing. Which which might be fun. See maybe we'll play with some water based levels in physics. I don't know. But, we're gonna go into two next time. And I think I'm gonna leave this episode here and we'll worry about that next time. Uh, I've said next time a whole bunch, but that just reinforces the point that we're going to be doing it next time. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also be sure to follow me on Facebook and on Twitter in the description below. And also be sure to check out my Patreon in the description below as well. It's only a couple bucks a month. It really helps me out. And you guys get access to a bunch of cool perks that I'm always saying thanks. So be sure to check those out in the description below as well. And also, if you want to see more videos from me, then be sure to check out the videos linked in the end screen. The top video is the most recent video. It may or may not be this one. The bottom video is the video that is most recommended to you based on YouTube's algorithm. So be sure to check that one out if you want to see something that you more of what you've already seen. But regardless of whether or not you do any or all of those things, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!